Hey gals, I'm back. Um, I finished this last night. Um, this is that onesie mini album that I I hand cut um, from my chipboard that I bought off eBay. Um, it is the 0 .0 0 0.22 weight. It's this really thin chipboard um, that I bought. Um, sorry about the moving around. Um, but this is the template that I did use and see this is where I cut down. I cut off about that much from it. So I used these two inch binder rings and then I um, added several different fibers and ribbons. Um, I've got blue ribbons, these really fuzzy ribbons, some little pom-poms, some fibers all over it. Um, on this side, I use one of my fishing charms. Um, I've got this little rocking horse charm, this safety uh, pin charm, I've got these baby booty charms, and I've had these for about seven years from with, when I had my son, so this one too. And I've just had them in my stash of everything. Um, then I added this little Jolie set. Or no, actual, it's the Sandaline Essentials. Sorry. Um, and I just hooked them, you know, the loop on the safety pin, looped it around. The pacifier, the little, the little ones, uh, the little onesie outfit, um, sleeper. The little baby charm. Um, his name's Connor Franklin Ayala. Then I put the baby sets. And then I, I had the white stitching, but you couldn't see on this. But, and then I just added the bl the blue to go with it. So the next page I did, you can see the stitching where the onesie is. Then I added these little cute little fuzzy toys. Put shine. Here's the little stitching. This one you can add a picture right behind it. So there's this one will be a photo frame. And I just inked it up with my blue Studio G. Here's another one, and this was a card connection um, embellishment. It was for cards. Here and here, and they're all popped up on mount the 3D pop dots. And then I just added a photo mat. On the next page, it says I stamp cherish. Just trust the edges. I all, and this I used the blue ink as well for the stitching cute little elephant and then this is a frame she can either put the just slide the picture behind here or she can actually put it on here and then write little notes on the back of that um, tried to make it as simple as possible but still pretty because uh, I don't know if she scrapbooks or not so um, here's those buttons I did more stitching here's the little I cut out some frames I cut out the cardstock and the paper and distressed it and then same thing with here she couldn't either just slip the photo in or on here so they're really cute the same with both of these and I just popped them up with mounting tape on all of the frames so they came out really cute oh, got stuck <laughs> um, here's the next page I like this one I put my adore stamp and I stamped it and then did the stitching, the button. So it's pretty simple, easy, but really cute. Here's this one. I have the other sets to it um, here, but I didn't know where to put them. And I didn't like, you know, I wanted it to be cute and nice for her. So, and same thing here. She can slide the photo in there or just use that. This one here was really cute, so I just added some buttons to make it look like the onesie where the onesie buttons go. Added the boy ribbon, and then I put it's all boy. Then I put slide picture here. She can put a picture over that if she wanted to. This one I left pretty simple. Just added buttons and this little tag here. On um, the next page, I put a little cute little teddy bear with some glitter. Um, it's 3D. And then it says toy, and then she has room up here for a photo. 
Because, you know, babies, and they get their little first toy. You can stick it there. And then this one, I used my onesie stamp and stamped randomly on my page. And then um, I did the stitching, and then I did the faux stitching with my gel pen. And this is the gel pen that I use at, that I got at Michael's. It's the Jelly Roll pen. So, that's the one I got. Um, and then I put the baby thing. I popped it up with the 3D, or the mounting tape. Just regular mounting tape. I love it. And then I added a little safety pen. And then on this side... I put um, handmade memories preserved by, and then little feet and hands, and that's it. Um, and I still have room on my sign-ups for the Eclipse swap, so if anyone's interested, um, you can head over to my blog at mamascrapper69.blogspot.com. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.